So you guys want to see a sad existence. You want to see something that was very sad. Um, that's actually very common, especially hopping back on X after a few years and hopping into this argument. There's this big thing that's still going on. I thought it was dead a long time ago. And that was the whole console wars thing. It's where basically everybody was fighting. And they're like, hey, Xbox sucks dicks. And the other guys, the Xbox, are like, no, PlayStation sucks dicks. And Nintendo, they're just back there doing their own thing. Um, it was never really, you know, it never really made sense. And, you know, I'm guilty of it because back in the PS3 and the Xbox 360 days, I was a part of that shit. Dude, we fucking wrote an actual play for our college class uh, about the PlayStation uh, 3 um, announcement and the whole giant enemy crabs, the Ridge Racer, uh, the $599 price tag, and we had, like, Ken Kutaragi and Kaz Harai, and we had a security guy, and it was actually pretty funny. Like, we made a musical out of it, and I think somewhere it exists. I don't know where it's at. Maybe it's something I'd show you guys, but after a while, like, growing up, like, playing games, you know, on a regular basis, because, like I said, I'm a, I'm, I'm a big gamer, um, I play a lot of games on Xbox, but I also play a lot of games on PlayStation. And I know somebody's going to be like, well, look at your trophies, man. That is terrible. I don't really fucking care about trophies, and I don't really care about ch achievements. I used to. I used to be a big um, achievement hunter. I just don't really care anymore. And I know they're going to be like, you, you, don't have, you don't have 30 platinums. You don't have you don't have anything. You play a lot of games in your Xbox, and you show gay. That actually happens. That's a real thing. That's not a lie. That's that's no exaggeration. That really happens. Uh, people will, like they'll post up their uh, <laughs> they'll post up their either their gamer tag or uh, showing their achievements or they'll be like, "Here's my trophies," and they're suck it, nerd. We're better than you. Platinum trophies are better than achievements. I'm like, they don't mean shit like at all. At all. It's it's just actually sad, honestly. Like and as a as an adult that has to work a nine to five and has responsibilities, you know, that shit doesn't really matter anymore. Like when I was a kid and didn't have as many responsibilities and I was living at home, yeah. Yeah, I didn't have responsibilities. I didn't have to pay for everything. I was like, whatever. Now I just play games to enjoy games. It doesn't really matter what system you're on. But the sad existence right now is on X, and I see a lot of this stuff. I'm just going to show you one example, and this is this guy that I've been following, just watching him post this really cringy shit, like, where he's always any bit of small information. If Xbox sneezes, or PlayStation or Nintendo sneezes, they're getting on top of that, and we're like, well, the PlayStation, you know, it might be happening on PlayStation, but doesn't count, but Xbox is bad, and Xbox has no games, and I'm like, man, I'm literally playing video games on my Xbox every every day. I'm literally playing video games on my PlayStation almost every day. I'm literally playing games on my Switch almost every day. I do not have any problems playing video games on any system. At all, at all. And I know the thing is, they're like, well, it's not console exclusive. I was like, motherfucker, Xbox hasn't really had console exclusives for a long time. Mainly, it's been on PC and Xbox. And shit, there's already Xbox games that's been on PlayStation and Switch. You guys ever played Minecraft? That shit's on there. Fallout's on PlayStation. I know what you're going to say. Well, Xbox bought them. They bought Bethesda. They bought Activision Blizzard. But now Xbox has no games. It's like, why is it every fucking game that comes out from Xbox has the Xbox Studio thing? And that's going to be normal. It's going to be normalized. PlayStation, they have Sea of Thieves and Grounded and Hi-Fi Rush. I'm not sure. I haven't played them on there. I don't know if it shows Xbox Studios on them or not. I'm sure it does, maybe in the credits or something. But... Um, they're on there. They're on there. Just like how PlayStation has Destiny, they own Bungie, and Destiny has been multi-platform since its inception. You know, call it a win, whatever PlayStation, when Destiny, like, released the final shape and it got overwhelmingly good reviews. They're like, Xbox is dead! I'm like, how is Xbox dead? You could literally play the final shape on Xbox and PC. Like, how was that 
equate to Xbox is dead. It's not. The same talking points has been going on ever since the Xbox inception. The big thing is the PlayStation fan base are a bunch of gay, gatekeepers. It really is. It's a lot of them. And I'm not saying it's just PlayStation. The PlayStation players are inherently worse than Xbox players when it comes to gatekeeping video games. It's way, 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 way worse. You always hear things like, oh, Xbox does something good. That's just is propaganda. That's terrible. That's fake news. These motherfuckers must be on Trump's, like, uh, <laughs> um, what, what, what do they call it? Trump's um, PR team, where it's all fake news. Is, this is this is what this come to. This is like as bad as the QAnon stuff. A bunch of conspiracy theories, and these people take it so damn serious. Like it's their life. This this is their entire life is to argue over which billion dollar company's console was better than the other. When the fact is, these billion dollar companies, if they can shove their fists up your ass and get a dollar out of it, they're going to fucking do it. Doesn't matter what you think. Um, and the other thing is. These guys think that consoles are going to be the future when they're not. What's happening is Xbox and PlayStation, and they're already experimenting with this. We have cloud services. We have subscription-based services. Xbox Game Pass, for instance, for, you know, uh, <laughs> example, I can't even talk. Uh, that, that's still going on. And I know some people's like, well, Xbox Game Pass is bad. They're training their console paper the just rent games yeah that's going to happen with playstation too uh if xbox game pass and i do think xbox game pass is successful right now i know some people's like oh, no why, why would they spend 70 fucking billion dollars and put that on xbox game pass why why that would be stupid if it's failing why would you do it if anything this is going to boost their numbers and if anything once x on xbox game pass completely comes to cloud services you're gonna be able to stream a shit already and it's already exists on your phone your tablets your meta your tvs your fucking microwaves it's all going to happen and playstation is going to do the same thing again they have a subscription service playstation premium every month you get a list of games you play video games and they have a big thing and at this point we are all trained to wait for video games to come out on there. Me, I buy games, a lot of them, if I'm very interested in them, I buy them day one. Even though I'm a Game Pass Ultimate player, I'm also a PlayStation Premium player, and I'm also a Nintendo Online player. So these services provide pretty much the same thing, right? You can all play video games, old and new, right here on these things. The only difference is Xbox, has a day one thing where these big exclusive games or these big games is coming out like Call of Duty, Doom, uh, and the list can go on. It's day one on Xbox. And the PlayStation players are like, well, that's a bad thing. I was like, dude, I don't want to spend 70 fucking dollars uh, for video games every month. I have other responsibilities. I can't even fucking pay for my medicine. And I'm going crazy. I can't even pay for my insulin let alone spending $70 on a fucking video game. So Xbox having something like that, that's a fucking benefit to gamers, to me. And people always say that's the best value in gaming, which it is. PlayStation eventually is going to jump on this. Don't fucking say it's not going to happen. Don't say, well, well, Ken Kutaragi and Jim Ryan and Kat Karai and Tim Dog and all of them, they're like, nah, uh it's not going to happen. PlayStation's superior. They're the greatest. And the funny thing is, you see shit like this. I've been arguing with this guy for a long time. He hops on here and he posts a lot of shit like anything that happens that remotely might put Microsoft at a disadvantage. This guy is on, on like butter. And there's a lot of these dudes. There's a ton of them. And the most saddest thing about that, if your existence is tied to a plastic box, what the fuck is wrong with your life? What do you have? What's your aspirations? Do you have any responsibilities? You still live with your fucking mom and not have to pay bills? What is this? What is this? Sony's not going to give you a fucking blowjob just because you make a post about them making fun of Xbox. That's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I know most of these guys probably have, like, body pillows of Sean Layden laying around. Probably have, like, glory holes in them. And uh, behind the glory hole, they have a uh, PlayStation 3 disk drive in there they can slide their dicks into so they can get some cell processor pussy. Like, come on. Come on. It doesn't make sense. Your existence, your Friday will be better just because Xbox is not getting a game on launch when it's going to come on Xbox. 
I won't be surprised if Black Myth Wukong comes on Game Pass. It might just happen. I'm not saying it will, but it might. It could. Could possibly happen. Like, it's a fucking video game, bro. It's video games. It's a plastic fucking box. Enjoy your life. You know, touch some grass. Go to a, I don't know, go skate or something. I, I don't know. This argument, this whole argument between what system is better, what billion dollar company is better, that's the most pointless thing you could possibly do. All the games are coming out on PC anyways. The only real winner, really, if you think about it, is PC. Because PC is just going to have all the games. So that's what's going to happen. And, you know, another weird, weird funny thing is whenever uh, PlayStation IP that was actually co-developed with LEGO and Guerrilla Games, these people threw a fit. They're like, no, LEGO made them do that. And on the website, on Guerrilla's website, it actually shows that. And I actually pulled it up. Let's, let's find it. Let's find it here. So Guerrilla, uh, uh, Horizon, um, Switch. All right, it's fine. Gorilla's website is actually on there. We'll actually show you. Let's see. Okay, Gorilla Games. Gorilla Games. Let's go into their actual thing here. It was on their website. Oh, man, look at this. This is all gone because PlayStation sucks dicks. It's like, I don't want to put play video games on your console. I just want to put fucking, uh, I just want to put some, uh, remasters on here because, you know, remasters of The Last of Us. Here we go. Here we go. So right here, we got Horizon Adventures. This is, again, this is on, this is on PlayStation Studio Gorilla's website. Right here. During the, today's Summer Game Fest Showcase, we announced a brand new action adventure game. Lego Horizon Adventures to be launched during the 2024 holiday season on PC, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch. Co-developed by Gorilla and our friends at Studio Gobo. And again, none of these things, these guys, if you point that out, they're like, well, it's a kitty Lego game. But then again, whenever the showcase came out for the PlayStation, the, the days of play, remember guys, just because Days of Play was fucking terrible, there's going to be a showcase. That's not a showcase when it's literally the same fucking thing. It's just got a different name. And they have it every single year to announce video games. Um, these guys like, well, it's a, it's a kitty game. It, we don't like kitty, ga kitty games. And they're hyping up. Their biggest hype right now is an Overwatch clone that's not free to play. That's already dead in, in the water when it comes out, most likely. And Astrobot, a tech demo from the PlayStation, that's also a kiddie game. What's different about that? What's different about it? you're you're saying that you know play, PlayStation putting a IP that is a PlayStation IP on the Nintendo Switch doesn't count because it's a Lego kitty game. And over here, the only thing you're able to hype up is either a remaster of a game that didn't need a remaster until dawn which you can already natively play it on the playstation 4 and playstation 5 just like the last of us and all that other shit. um and astrobot which was designed for kids but that you know these people like that's game of the year it's going to trump everything that xbox comes out but this guy's existence is his life is better because on a Friday, this came out where there's a possibility that Sony could have money hatted Black Myth Wukong or it was the Xbox Series S, which, you know, I do believe the Xbox Series S thus has its problems, but it was designed to do exactly what it's doing. And that's playing video games on a budget because not all of us want to go all in. Remember, the economy fucking sucks. Well, you used to be able to go spend $300 and get a nice bit of food and groceries. Now it seems like that's nothing. It feels like I'm spending $300 and only getting a hundred dollars worth of food. And the most important thing is a video game that's $70. Then arguing the fact that Xbox trains its console users to use game pass 
which again is one of the best values in gaming where I don't have to spend $70 a month for fucking game every, you know, month. Shit, I'm going to use Game Pass the same way I use PlayStation Premium. But me, I still buy my games. I don't care. Like, I have these services, but I buy my games still. Like, I do get on Game Pass. And I do play some games. And if I like it, I'm going to purchase the game. And most likely, by the time I beat that game on Game Pass, it's going to be on sale. And guess what? I'm going to, you know, save some money there. PlayStation Premium does the same thing. They release games all the time. All the time. There's a huge library of them. Some games that come out are fairly new. Maybe a few months old. I, I download them every month. Every month. Um, there's always something new to play. The only difference is there's not day one ex you know, exclusives to Game Pass. Like, uh, that, well, there's day one games coming to Game Pass and not to PlayStation Premium. It's the only difference, really. And to me, that's a really good value. Like, I'm going to be able to play Doom on day one on PC or Xbox. Instead, I, you know, if I had the option to be like, well, I want to spend $70 right now for Doom. Instead of, you know, 20 bucks a month for Doom right now. Most people are going to choose $20 to play a video game. It's just the way it is. And the whole argument that PlayStation is better than Xbox really doesn't have any merits because they both do the same fucking thing. They play video games and they're plastic boxes. That's all it is. That's all it is. Again, you're not going to get a golden shower from either Xbox or uh, Sony or Nintendo just because you make you know posts like that. Posts like that. Like, yeah, you know, like I said, what's your fucking? What, what do you do for a living? And there's a lot of these motherfuckers on here. A lot of fucking old dudes that, like, are still in this whole, you know, idea that console exclusives are still a thing. When they're coming to PC, they're going to be multi-plat marathon, which is going to be a PlayStation IP from Bungie, which Marathon was not really. It's a, still multi-platform. You can play Marathon games on PC. There was some on the Xbox. I don't know if it still exists, but also on mobile. Like, and it's coming to Xbox. It's going to be a third-party exclusive, not third-party, it's going to be third-party game from Sony because Sony's now third-party. They are. They're, they're, they're third-party. And these people are, like, twisting the uh, definition of console exclusive. Um, to me, it's always been this way, is whenever there's a game that comes out and you can only play it on console, it's exclusive, console exclusive, but that's not the case hardly anymore. Now, games are coming out on PC as well. So the whole console exclusive is gone because I can play it on something else that's not a console. You can be like, oh, well, it's, well, it's still playable only on console. No, motherfucker, I can still play it somewhere else. I don't. It's not tied to a console anymore, so it's not console exclusive. It's now multi-platform. Can't change the fucking words to bend to your narrative when it's convenient for you. And you argue when Xbox does it, brings it to PC, and say Xbox has no games because all their games on PC, there's no console exclusives anymore. Motherfucker, PlayStation's doing the same fucking thing. You can hop on Steam, literally hop on Steam. And I'll show you, I'll show you on Steam right now. Right now, it's easy, easy. I'll show you both of them. So let's let's just look up uh, PlayStation. Let's look up PlayStation right now. So PlayStation. And this list, this list is only going to get bigger. All are, it's going to get bigger. So Last of Us 2 is coming to PC. You have all these big things. Helldivers, Ghost of Tsushima, Horizon, Spider-Man, Last of Us, Days Gone, God of War, God of War 2 is coming out. Miles Morales, Ratchet and Clank. All these games, Until Dawn, Returnal, Uncharted, it's all coming, all coming. So let's take a look at Xbox. What does Xbox have? Let's look at Xbox Game Studios. We got Sea of Thieves, which is also on PlayStation. You have Forza, Fable, Halo, Perfect Dark, E-Day, uh, Gears of War, State of Decay, Grounded, Flight Simulator. They're all doing this. They're all fucking doing this. There's no such thing now as console exclusive. They're, but Stellar Blade is console exclusive. Yeah, maybe. 
a third party game that's not a first IP. We're not talking about third party games, are we? We're talking about first party IPs. That's what we're talking about. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you, Stellar Blade is probably going to come on PC if it hasn't been announced yet. Uh, so if like Rise of the Ronin, and these people are like, Rise of the Ronin is the best game ever. And it came out with mediocre reviews, but it's still a win for PlayStation. When eventually that game, maybe after the timed exclusivity, it may have. It's still going to come on PC. Uh, it's just, it's inevitable. It's inevitable. 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 You want to see something else too. The funny thing is like, if you take a look, uh, they're like, oh, PlayStation had a great showcase when their big thing was either Astrobot or Concord. Concord. Listen, can you tell me the difference between Concord versus Overwatch? It's literally the same game. But Overwatch is free. That's why I'm scared about Concord. That's what I'm afraid about Concord. It's going to come out. It's not a free-to-play game that's competing in the market of hero shooters, which is very, very uh, crowded right now. There's a lot of hero shooters. This would have been cool, you know, you know, back in 2016 when Concord could have had a chance. Now, here's the thing. I hope Concord comes out. And it does well, but watching the gameplay and looking at that, I can't really tell the difference between Concord and Overwatch in terms of gameplay aspect. I'm not seeing something that's being like, hey, go play and buy Concord over Overwatch or Valorant or Call of Duty. The market is full of live service games. There's only been one really good example of a, a really successful live service game that's come out from PlayStation that's came out on PlayStation, which is a Sony property. I know you guys are going to be like, well, Destiny, Destiny doesn't count because Destiny has been multi-platform for a long time. Destiny was already successful before Sony came in and bought Bungie. Uh, but Helldivers 2, it came out very successful. Sony's already basically canning a lot of live service games already. And their future was planned to be a live service future. So we had to put some metal get canceled. That was going to be an online live service game. We have Last of Us Factions. We had Spider-Man, the Miles Morales game. Uh, what was the other one that fell? There was Foam Stars. That one fell. Uh, what's the other one? There was another one. It was like uh, Crash All-Stars. or It was like Fortnite meets Twisted Metal. I, I can't think of the name, but nobody fucking plays it. But... PlayStation is trying to um, go after a crowd of um, genre, a crowded genre where people already has their minds made up on what they're going to play. Um, and, and here's the thing. If the game is successful, and that's good, that's good, it's still going to be a live service multi-platform game. If I'm just going to say, I think eventually Helldivers is coming to Xbox. I wouldn't be surprised if it does, because it probably will. It's very successful. And if PlayStation's like, you know what? Money. And they're going to be like, okay, let's fucking do this shit. This is what, that's just my opinion. It's probably a long, you know, miscombobulated piece of shit video. But the whole, the whole point of the console wars is stupid. Console wars is dumb. It's cringe. It's just a bunch of virgin old men that, you know, jerk off to plastic boxes. That's the only thing it is. All right, guys, I love you. I'll see you soon.